Hello everyone, this is your mother, Grover Cleveland here, and you're watching Ink the Book Show. That show is going to rot your brain. Guess what? You can follow your little friend, Ryan O'Connor, at Wrangleshank on Instagram, on TikTok, and on Twitter. And if you like his work on these cartoons, then you can watch his bonehead cartoon. Animated. The link to all these things and more can be found in the description. Furthermore, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to all things Wrangleshank and all things Ink the Book. Thanks, pal. Ah. With your host, Ryan O'Connor. And now, let's ink the book. Hey, everybody. It's the art show. The one in the little green room. With the guy with the an alligator on his shirt. Ink the book show. Oh. You can get one of these at the T Public store that I put in the links. If you care to. There's a bunch of other stuff there too. Um Man, I've been gone for a few days because I was uh I was hanging out with my roommate and I was hanging out with my family, and then I got sick. I was pretty, uh, feeling pretty lousy for a few days, but I'm back on top of the world. Better than you. Better than everybody. No, I'm, I'm all right. So we've been doing sketchbook drawings. And I, I want to get back to inking the last few pages of my bonehead graphic novel very soon. Here's the last two drawings I did on the live streams. Um, I think after I do today's drawing, whatever it might be, um, I'm going to work on uh, tightening up some of the thumbnail drawings here. Let me show you my thumbnail drawings, which were originally on a... Um, Three by five note card that I think I also have right here. Yeah, let's take a look. Let's take a look. So page two hundred two is the next page of my bonehead comic that I'm doing. Here's what page two hundred two looks like right now, and this is my second take on page two hundred two because I redid. I'm redoing a scene. I'm adding scenes or something like that. Um. And it's pretty incomprehensible. I see Bonehead fighting with a trap worm, is what it's called in the in my book. There's this bug monster called a trap worm. So the next thing I do after I scribble it down onto a note card, I um <clears throat> I blow it up on an eight eight and a half by eleven paper. And that make that that brings it to more accurately. So I blow it up three hundred percent, and that makes it more accurate to the size that my panels tend to be on on these. Um, Ooh. See, I've got the panels broken out on the on the page already. So this should roughly match what I've got going on here. Panel, 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 panel. And I kind of broke it down already. And so the next step is to tighten these up. I usually trace them onto into a sketchbook or onto a piece of paper and clean up these drawings. And then and then a lot of times I'll trace them again onto here. 
or I might just cut out that middle step and just clean them up right onto the page. We'll see. But that's, I think that's what I'm doing tonight after I do whatever it is I do here. So let's see. I don't know what I'm going to draw now. I've been drawing too much in the past few days because I've been, I've been on the brink of death. I think I got food poisoning. I think I food poisoned myself. <clears throat> Let's see. I don't know what I want to draw. I'm thinking like a bumblebee. I don't know. Maybe I'll draw a bumblebee. Make him a big round puffy bumblebee. I want to make him like droopy, I think. So I think I'm gonna do something slightly different here. I, I don't, I, I don't quite have anything in my head just yet. to match his stinger. I like these, like, broken antennas. On bugs, I guess. Also asymmetrical. This one's always I always do like one like an M and one like a half M. I guess. I'm noticing. I don't even think about it. Uh let's see. Learn to left me again. <laughs> Linda. Linda's too good for you, Chuck. I know. I just was hoping she didn't know.
Mm-hmm. And then what to do about these legs? Here, I'm gonna give him these. She left me because of my pathetic wings, I just know it. <laughs> she left me because I'm a sad sack. She'd rather pollinate with, I don't know, some other honey. I'm going to put the far arms in shadow. That'll help for clarity. Buzz, buzz. Um, also, I think I want to make him like kind of fuzzy. He looks very fuzzy. Like he should be fuzzy. If only I was fuzzy. I'm that, that's like my, uh, it's not even quite my Fred Stoller. That act, that little character actor, Fred Stoller. I think he was on Everybody Loves Raymond, which I never watched. And I don't know, he was all over the place. But I'm also, I, I'm doing that ghost on uh, the one Ren and Stimpy cartoon. And now, watch me now as I, I don't remember any of the lines. Or Stimpy's first fart. The one where Stimpy has a son and it's his fart. Gee, Dad, maybe this will help you to understand. Okay. And then I'm going to give him a shadow like this is the ground right here. He's like barely off the ground. Okay. <clears throat> oh my. What a predicament. I used to fly much higher than this. I used to be the highest bee in the air. But not anymore. Not since Linda left.
Now I'm the lowest bee of them all. I'm not even fit to pollinate tree sap. Does that even make sense? Pollinate tree sap? Have you heard the latest buzz? It was my pacemaker. My heart don't work like it used to. It was a weird mouth. There we go, I'm a little, that works a bit better for me. <clears throat> oh dear. I'm just, I, I'm this character now. Oh, joy. <laughs> This is the happiest day of my 24 hour life. I'm so happy, I can hardly contain myself.
You're making my little stinger twitch. That's that sounds that sounds suggestive. I wish I didn't say that. I'm just saying things that pop into my head as they pop into my head. are watering okay let's see now Look, Ma, I'm flying. I'm flying. I'll be home for supper. This this front leg emerging from the shadow, and then Here, I'm going to get some, some I'm gonna get more heavy duty for this. Whatever this thing is, it's probably a terrible pen. I hate it. This is just something I bought in a pack at Hobby Lobby and thought it would come in handy, and I don't like it. This is probably the second time I've used whatever this is. It's something from Pentel. The thing I usually use for my big blacks uh, from P Pentel is out of ink. I just haven't been restocking my art supplies lately. I think I'm just trying to save money, but... That's not doing me any good if I can't do what I do. Like, this is what I spend money on. So... I should just buckle down and spend the money, right? I gotta, yeah, I gotta get some ink refills for that. Okay, I think. Here, I'm gonna. Do a little bit of shadow on the stinger. My mom tells me I'm the most handsome bee in the hive. I don't know, though. If I'm so handsome... How come Linda keeps leaving me? Oh, 
was it something that I said? This is a sensitive uh, sketchbook. I'm gonna be careful when I erase sometimes because it'll tear the. I can feel it doing it in some spots on this drawing too. It'll tear up the ink. This one was a gift. It's not my favorite sketchbook. So I'll take an, I'll take a sketchbook any day. I am making it work. But it is not made for rough stuff. Though though I have been able to do watercolors in it. So it's tough that it's been pretty resilient with those. All right, I've ended up to here with all this erasing. Okay, that's your drawing. Let's get some colors. Um, let's see. That's the thing with bees. It's like I never know what to make their faces. It's like you picked a drawing, Ryan. You ding dong. Okay. Um. Let us see. Um, I'm going to do yellow, yellow. I think I'm going to make his head like a dark yellow. like, Or maybe like, I don't know. This is going to be like a dark gray in the middle. So. I can see my house from up here. <laughs> oh boy. I, I can I'm looking down on creation. <laughs> I'm on top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little the weak little yeah. He should have a little a little extra syllable at the end of all his sentences. Uh, yeah. It's it's just a little too much to talk, uh huh? Oh. I'm overexerting myself. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm overexerting myself. Uh... Myself. <laughs> I was an indoor kid. I was an indoor bee. I never wanted to play with the other pupas, but mother said I couldn't stay inside.
Mm, that might be a little too dark. I gotta reorganize my markers. It used to be so much easier to grab exactly what I wanted. Right off the bat. I had a French gray 40. Where did that guy go? There it is. Would that I could be an indoor bee. Would that all the other bees bring their honey to me. Where's the light source on this? I feel like I'm doing it backwards. Okay. This is also kind of the color I imagined his uh, legs being. So I gotta keep that in mind. I need to make his legs kind of a dark color. Starting to sound like him in real life. Let's see. Oh. Uh... Oh dear. Okay, and then. French gray 20, I think, is too light. I'm going to use the warm 40 on its own. That'll be his legs. His legs with an A. Wow. I'm the bee. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> Mind if I pollinate your garden? Hello, ma'am. That's a nice daffodil in your bonnet. Would it trouble you terribly if I um, nestled in? I don't know. I'm trying to think of terminology. <clears throat> B terminology. Okay, um, I, I don't want to just use the word pollinate over and over. I was, trying, I'm, I was scanning my bee, my internal bee thesaurus, and I ran out of, I came up empty-handed. Wow. 
I just flew in from Cleveland and boy is my thorax tired. My kingdom for some artificial sweetener in this town, too. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with a beat. Oh, maybe it does. Maybe it does. I like sweet stuff. Like half the set of the stuff I've said in that voice has anything to do with a bee. I ordered some presents for my nephew's birthday in a couple days, and they just arrived. Bossa Nova. Six in a couple days, and his sister is going to be two the day after. What about my sunny disposition? It's the same color. You're gonna do my eyelids the same color? I guess his uh, antennas would make sense that color too. See, I gotta, I gotta invest in some in replacing some of these markers. 
I am becoming this guy. I just keep catching myself sounding like him. Um, khaki. Uh, so back in the day, I used to watch a lot, of, like when I was uh, in middle school, I used to watch a lot of Homestar Runner every time they put out a cartoon. They used to do it weekly, I think. Pretty dang close to it. Um, and they would always have these new menus for the, for the website. They would put out new menus all the time. And there was one that came out one time, and um, the one character, Strong... Strong Sad, the brother named Strong Sad, would, uh, like, if you hovered over one of the, the menu icons, di like, different things would happen when you hovered over the different menu I icons. And um, you'd move over one of them, and Strong Sad would fly by in the sky. He wasn't supposed to, he wasn't a character that flew or anything, but there's... <laughs> This one menu, like when you went over like tunes or whatever it would be, he would go through the sky and he'd be like, I'm sad that I'm flying. This guy just made me think of that. Homestar Runner was really funny. The website's still up, and I think they they're always trying to like get it working. They're, they're, they're always trying to figure out ways to make the Flash work the way it used to, I think. But, um, yeah, they, they, they still do. They've been doing new cartoons here and there uh, lately. So they're, they're kind of back at it little by little. But, you know, they have big, big shot animation careers and stuff now. But, oh yeah, if you can dig into old um, Homestar Runner cartoons, if you're not familiar, Homestar Runner was where it was at in 2004. Um, I used to have a t-shirt with Sonora Card Gage's head on it, and it, it, it had the caption, No Provalo! Which only means something if you know who Sonora Card Gage is, I guess. What color? Boy, I really need a pick me up. If this is as high as I can fly, I never thought I'd sink so low. Uh, I just, when I first, uh, started talking about the, the ghost 
character that sounded like that on Ren and Stimpy, or or Stimpy's first fart. I was like, who was that voice? I just realized they did that voice twice. Who was that voice? Ob and obviously, it's my favorite voice actor of all time, Billy West. I can't believe that that thought inhabited my head earlier. I'm a... I'm a dope sick nut for Billy West. I got to meet him a few years ago, 2019. I went out to Detroit. He was doing like a like a homecoming con in uh, Detroit, where he's from. And, uh, I, I drove six hours out there to meet him and, um, and Tim Jacobus who did the covers for the Goosebump books and, and I was by myself. I made a six hour drive all by myself just to go to this con. I couldn't get anyone I couldn't convince anyone to come with me. Um, Tim Jacobus. I met Bob Camp, who was uh, kind of the, sh the he was the showrunner on Ren and Stimpy, um, and he directed like a ton of episodes. And um, and then I, I met Billy West. And then as a, a an added bonus, I also met Charles Martinet, the guy who talks for Mario and Luigi and Wario and Waluigi. And I got a video with him. I, I should put on one of these videos sometime. I, I got a video with him uh, for my brother Liam saying that Liam's number one. And I meant to put that on a long time ago, like feature that in the show at some point with like one of the episodes with Liam in it. I've never done that. It's that video is buried in my phone somewhere. One of these days. That's a little too pink. It doesn't work. I'll lighten it up, I think. Drown it out with this other pink. like competing with the the cheek which was supposed to be a darker warm color here i'll uh beef that up with flagstone red there we go i think now they're a little more contrasty i think i'm gonna give him I don't like blue eyes, even though I have blue eyes. I think I'm going to give him green eyes. I like doing green eyes, I find. Or yellow eyes. I do yellow eyes a lot. I'm not going to do yellow eyes on a b b b b Oh, joy. <laughs> Sounded sickly. Oh, heavens. I think I'm going to give him, like, like pink eyes, bleary pink eyes, too. I've been up all night crying. <laughs> My brain is fried. I've been up all night entering code. Um, whatever that means. Let's see.
Hello. Buzz buzz delete. Buzz buzz delete. Buzz buzz delete. And then let's see. Hmm. What can you do? What can you do about it? Here, here's another marker. Some um, little, I guess, just book my twenty nothing. Okay, um. Use this cool, uh, no, not that one. That's Celadon green. I think I like this spearmint green color. Spearmint. It like rises two inches off the ground. Never had a lesson. Can you believe it? Baby, we were born to fly. Let's blow this pop stand <laughs> very slowly because I get motion sickness. <laughs> My stomach's churning already. Jane, stop this crazy thing.
Um, <laughs> what is this? Blush pink light. Ballet pink light? I think that is way lighter. Yeah, it is. Let's see what I've got in my old cabinet down here. Because the blush pink light is not going to last me as long as I'd like it to. I've got blush pink. I've got deco pink. I've got Ballet pink. Ballet. Hmm. Let's try ballet pink. Just regular ballet pink. We'll try deco pink too. No, I think that's going to be too dark. How about ballet pink? Oh, wait, what did I say? Blush pink. I, I'm looking for. I thought I was using blush pink. Where is that? Here we are. That's the one I meant to grab. Ooh, that's. That's too, too much. Well, let's just go to the wheels fall off on this one. In high school, I was voted most likely to suck. But my, yeah, my brother was most likely to succeed. I was just voted most likely to suck. Which was fair, a fair assessment.
by my estimate. that I kind of started doing a halo around him. I think I'm going to get out my jelly roll <clears throat> and kind of do it a little more uh, deliberately on the rest of them. Put a little white line around the edge of his outline. Make him pop. Look, Pop, I'm never going to be the man you want me to be. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I tried chopping wood for about 15 seconds before I said this stuff's for the birds. Not the bees. This bee's knees can't take a licking. Okay, after this, I think I'm calling it. And hopefully today, or uh, that is tomorrow or sometime this week, uh, I'll be back to inking pages of Bonehead. In the meantime, though, I'm, I, I, uh, I think these uh, short ones of my sketchbook drawings are pretty fun. Speaking of short, this one's over an hour already. Just an hour of me doing this. <laughs> Imagine my joy. I'll wait. Yeah. 
when I'm alone in the house, this is the kind of thing I I do to entertain myself. I'm just rambling like this. Okay. Well, this has been another thrilling edition of Ink the Book Show, wherein we inked this bee. Wow. Well, I'll be back tomorrow doing something else, either inking Bonehead or more sketchbook drawings. Um, if um, if you like little me doing this kind of thing, uh, feel free to click the links in the description uh, where I post where I post. Uh, it's a link tree link that has my social media. It has my T Public shop where you can get shirts or pillows or whatever you like with drawings like that on it. Um, it's got a link to my YouTube channel and my I think it's a it's I think it's a link to my YouTube cartoons the my the my the stuff I've animated and posted to YouTube yeah yeah I think that's what it is and uh, probably some other stuff discord uh, you name it probably a bunch of other stuff anyway. This has been Ink the Book Show. Good to be back, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. Toodaloo! Don't let the bed bugs bite unless you're willing to bite back. Sucker!